Hello students, I am back with the pendulum again, but with a different concept this time. Last time when we took the pendulum, we worked with the dependence of time period on different factors like length of the pendulum and mass of the pendulum. And we have got to know that mass of the pendulum does not decide the time period, it is only the length. This time I have a bigger pendulum this time, Okay, you can see this. So, this is the firm support, the thread and the bob and we are going to oscillate this pendulum for a different reason this time and the concept that I am going to take in this session is very familiar to you which you have learnt and heard right from 8th standard which is conservation of energy. Okay, what is conservation of energy? You might have, you all, all of you might have heard uh, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, right? But can be transformed from one form to the other form. So that we are going to demonstrate today by considering two forms of energy particularly, okay? So in the beginning, I will just leave the bob in its relaxed state, the pendulum is in its relaxed state and I will now lift the bob to a certain height. In order to lift the bob to a certain height, I have to do certain work. In other words, I have to spend my mechanical energy, right, or my energy. So, spending my energy, I have given that energy to this bob, right. What kind of energy is given to the bob now? The bob has now got potential energy, isn't it? Any body rise to certain height from the ground level, okay, any body rise to certain height from the ground level will have certain potential energy, right. So, even this will be having certain potential energy, okay. And moving the bob in this direction will not take any energy, that is fine, that is not our discussion right now. One thing is clear for us, when the bob is in this position, this has certain potential energy. Okay, that much is clear to us. So, this bob with certain potential energy, how did that energy came from? I did the work mechanically and the, I gave the energy. Now, this bob has the energy. What kind of energy? Potential energy. Now, if I leave the bob from the hand, the bob starts to oscillate, move back and forth. Okay, as you can observe, that bob goes and comes back like this. When it moves in such a way, this potential energy stored in the bob gradually gets decreased, which means getting lost, but energy cannot be destroyed. It is not decreased or lost. Instead, here at this point, the body had only potential energy. While it move, while it starts to move, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy because the body is moving this time. Whenever a body moves, it will have kinetic energy, right? So, if I take the body and leave, the pot potential energy will gradually convert, starts to convert into uh, kinetic energy and by the time it reaches the bottom most point, the bottom most point here, all the potential energy will convert into kinetic energy isn't it? So, because it is moving, it moves, okay, it will move, see you can see it is moving with very good velocity. If it is moving with certain velocity, it must have kinetic energy, right, or it will have kinetic energy. Where did that kinetic energy come from? The kinetic energy at that point comes from the potential energy which body already had and that is not fixed because I leave the body, this has potential energy, but zero kinetic energy because it is not moving at this point. When it is, when it reaches the bottom most point, the kinetic energy is maximum. All the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and potential energy is zero at that point because it is almost in the ground level. And it is not fixed that it will only have kinetic energy from then onwards because it will rise up and once again have potential energy and comes back kinetic energy, once again potential energy, kinetic potential. That is how energy is transformed from potential to kinetic to potential to kinetic to potential. Clear with this? Clear? You can observe this. Now, 
no kinetic only potential kinetic potential kinetic potential kinetic kinetic potential okay once again 3 2 1 Pot kinetic kinetic potential okay potential kinetic potential kinetic potential so this is how the energy is transformed in the in two forms potential energy and kinetic energy and now what we are going to verify is whether all the potential energy here is converted into kinetic energy or not because we all know that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed one thing is clear energy is transformed now from potential to kinetic to potential again and it is transforming but it should not be lost it should not be destroyed that is what is the basic principle is and will prove whether the total potential energy at this point is equal to total kinetic energy at that point okay so for that i need to know what is the total potential energy at this point expression for potential energy is given by mgh right where m is mass of the body g is acceleration due to gravity and h is the height to which the body is raised now you can see we have 200 gram of weight which is equal to 0.2 kg so m is fixed 0.2 kg then the height that we have is from the bottom is 0 0.78 centimeter 0 0.78 centimeter which is 0, uh, 0 0.78 meter sorry for that 78 centimeter is 0 0.78 meter that is the uh, height to which it is raised so h we have okay because potential energy expression is mgh right mass 0.2 kg g acceleration due to gravity which is equal to 9.8 meter per second square h is height to which the body is raised which we got to know which is 0.78 meter and when the body converts its form of energy from potential to kinetic when the body is moving here we should get to know the velocity of the body here but we do not have any instrument as such now as of now to measure the velocity at that point particularly so i have made a technique here i have fixed one meter scale to the bottom of the table and this will move uh, this will keep on moving or uh, oscillating back and forth while it moves the bob or the uh, the weights will take certain time to reach from this end to this end of the scale right certain time it will take to reach from this end to this end of the scale that i will record using a stopwatch the time taken by the scale to reach from this end to that end okay that i can record we will get to know in the next video how i am going to do it and now the length of the scale is fixed which is known to me which is 100 centimeter one meter scale and we will get to know the time taken to reach from this end to that end so velocity is given by distance by time distance traveled by the bob is length of the scale itself one meter and the time taken is can be measured using the technique which we will get to know now so we can have velocity is equal to distance by time that is it distance is one meter time we can get it and hence i can get the velocity okay using this technique i will get the velocity and then we will compare or we will get first the kinetic energy what is the expression for kinetic energy expression for kinetic energy is given by half m v squared m is mass 0.2 kg v is velocity which we will get now so we can have the values of m and v and hence the value of kinetic energy and then we will compare whether the total potential energy here is equal to total kinetic energy here okay we will see what the results are and do the calculations okay let us go and check get the velocity and then the energies okay so dear students now uh, the pendulum uh, will come into the video in the video as you can observe okay and what we need is the time taken by the pendulum to move from one end of the scale to the other end of the scale and for that what we are going to do is what we are going to observe is the time in the timer that is shown here when the pendulum reaches one end of the scale 
and the time in the timer when the pendulum reaches the other end of the scale okay now let us see okay just a minute okay now we can see that the timer is reading 14.33 when it is at one end of the scale okay 14 seconds 14.33 seconds so now this is at one end and it goes on goes on okay at the other end it is reading 14.59 second okay yeah it is not that clearly visible and the frame rate also doesn't support us to get the for perfect clarity but yes it is reading 14.59 second so that's it we have two readings 14.33 and 14.59 and now we can work for the time taken okay so it is 14.59 minus okay just a minute so the time taken will be 14.59 minus 14.33 okay and the difference is 6 and 2 0.26 second okay so 0.26 second is the time taken for the pendulum to reach from one end of the scale to the other end of the scale they said okay so that's it now we have the clear idea about time taken and what about the distance traveled distance traveled is nothing but the length of the scale right what is that equal to 1 meter right so distance is 1 meter and now we shall get the velocity during the calculations itself thank you so after getting the velocity using a very interesting experiment we now have all the calculation part present here okay uh, so mass that we obtained is 0.2 kg you all know that acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square again we know that height to which the body is raised is 0.78 meter right time taken that we obtained is 0.26 second and the distance traveled during that time is equal to length of the scale which is 1 meter and velocity is given by distance by time which is equal to 3.85 meter per second okay these are the data and now what we need to do is compare the potential energy and kinetic energies potential energy expression is as follows p is equal to mgh m is 0.2 g is 9.8 h is 0.78 the product that we'll get is 1.53 joule joule is the si unit of energy any kind of energy okay so this much of energy is obtained for the bob when it is raised to certain height what kind of energy potential energy and then let me come to the part of kinetic energy so here before we go for kinetic energy we should have the idea about velocity right which is 3.85 meter per second we'll get that velocity and put that here so the expression for kinetic energy is half m v squared half into 0.2 into 3.85 squared so simplifying that using calculator i'll get 1.48 joule pretty much successful here it is 1.53 joule when it is potential but when it is converted into kinetic it is 1.48 joule pretty much close both of them are very much close to 1.5 joules right 1.5 joules but kinetic energy has become has decreased right so what is the reason for that decrease of kinetic energy a small amount of kinetic energy a small amount of energy is is is, is dissipated or is converted into other forms and it is keep one thing in mind it is not necessary that the energy all the potential energy should completely convert into kinetic energy yes it is possible in ideal situation but here we have air in the medium in which the bob is moving and the air will oppose the motion of the bob 
right and during that opposition the air, the air will get heated okay A very small amount of heat will be given to the air in the form of heat okay due to that uh, viscous force the small amount of heat is generated and also the thread which is connected to the firm support there we will have certain friction even there certain energy is lost during the motion in the form of heat a little energy so out of this much of energy a little energy is dissipated into heat okay in in various situations or uh, in in various uh, uh, conditions or in uh, of the motion of the bob and the remaining will be completely converted into kinetic energy okay why is this heat or other forms of energy coming theoretically because one thing is clear all the energy the uh, total energy must be conserved this much must be there in the output in the other form in other forms or uh, so out of 1.53 1.48 became kinetic complete that's fine very close to 1.53 itself but 0.05 joule very small amount of energy where is that energy going that energy is converted into other forms like heat and sound and normally it's in the form of heat and uh, so that is where the that 0.05 a joule is gone so but if we neglect the second terms okay and round it off to first term 1.5 1.5 right after rounding them off so that gives us the idea that yes all the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy isn't it so that is about conservation of energy and hence we have proved it practically